Hello, so welcome to this next video for Comp3218 Game Design and Development at the University of Southampton. Uh, my name is Dave Millard, I'm one of the lecturers on the course and I'm here with... Max, I'm one of the demonstrators on the course. So Max and I are going to have a look at a number of different courseworks that were handed in. So for this one the students were asked to do a narrative game, uh, one that had a story engine where things in the narrative affected the game world and things in the game world affected the narrative. Um, and it was supposed to be based on one of three fables. We gave them a couple of Aesop's fables to, to look at. So it'll be interesting to see if we can spot that as we go. Um, the first one is called Maurice's Adventure. Let's see what it looks like. Aha, okay. Hello, welcome to Maurice's Adventure. Or Morris's Adventure, I'm not sure. Um, so I've got a nice little, nice little soundtrack going in the background. Um, so it's just worth saying that I've had to turn the game sound down to 2% because it was absolutely thunderous when I tried it early on. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, maybe a bit more, be a bit careful with uh, with their audio levels. Um, but yeah, otherwise looks good. Um, let's have a look. So I've got a down arrow over here that looks like it might do something. Um, oh, to move up, use W. To move, uh, okay, so WAS to open chest, press E, and close it, press E, to open doors, press E, into attack, press space. So E is my do things button, and space is my, uh, to change chat, click, oh, okay, fine. But move along the bridge to start the game, or go left to us. So, in some ways, it's a bit of a shame they haven't integrated it into the game, because that's, you know, what the last course was all about, but at least it's here, and they've told us what yeah. to do. So, uh, well, do you think I can interact with that chest? Yeah. I've it did it. say you can if you read the instructions. I didn't read, I never read the instructions. Oh, <laughs> hang on. Oh, okay. I had to press E twice, which is a bit strange. You've got a key. Yeah. Why do, is it me or these flowers keep moving around? Yeah, they do. Uh, I wonder why that is. Okay. Oh, something flashed. It's a bit strange. Okay. Welcome to the land of Meron, small town in the country of Oldham. Your name is Maurice, and you are a villager of Meron. You have to make some critical decisions that will influence your ending. You have to fight, sneak, solve puzzles, and find chests. Okay, as long as they have been ambitious, that's good. Pack up your bags and get ready to set out on a new adventure. Oh, I like that. So I like the little scroll. Finding himself in great debt to the ever-growing Woodlogger's clan. Morris does not see any other solution than stealing from one of his good friends in order to survive. Could we not steal from a stranger? I really need to find some gold before the loggers track me down. Gotta make sure my headmaster's not found out. I don't want to face his wrath or his murder gaze. Okay. Um, Alright, so I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, space, enter. Oh, have we got a problem, do you think? Oh, Are you able no. to go up? I wasn't able to go up. I could go down. Uh, Maid Anastasia lives next to me, but she is not home right now. I hate to do this, but there's no other way than to steal her savings. Seems like a, a, a big leap. One small issue with this plan. I don't have yeah. the keys to house. I have to find them in order to get in. Oh god, I hope the loggers won't catch me. Otherwise, head outside and get to Anna's. Be careful. Okay, so this is my house, presumably. It's a bit confusing, to be honest. So, can I do anything in here? No. Yeah, I'm sure he could sell that fine china for uh, to get his money. Yeah, but... yeah. Could we not sell some of our own stuff? A theft is always an option. So it's a bit strange that I go down and then I go up when I'm outside. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Also, I'm not quite sure. So that previous one where I was on a bridge and then I had to go. To... I had no idea what was going on there. That was a bit peculiar. If I was Anastasia, where would I hide my key? Maybe in the back garden. So this must be Anastasia's house. Oh yeah, there is a chest. Yeah, yeah, already done it. Okay, so we got the chest. Does that mean we can go into the house now? Yes. Steal the coins from her chest and run. Alright, I'm not going to mess around. Yay! I stole from my friend and neighbour. I feel so proud of myself. Okay, what, do I, what did I need to steal that for? To pay off some loggers. Oh yeah, so how do... 
Why have I got a I've got a question mark? Why have I got a question mark? Hmm. Perhaps someone's gonna run up into you. Where do I hide my key? Alright, so the logic for the game's got a bit screwy, I think. I got the money, but this isn't nearly enough to cover my debts. I've got no choice. I have to run away. I can use this money to get away safely. I hope I can pay you back. <laughs> so the Lugas. <laughs> Somehow the Lugas are more frightening than the Loggers. Won't catch me. And my headmaster won't find out what I did. Well, how is she going to know it's me anyway? Oh, is that a Logger, do you think? Oh, there's my attack. I'm going to attack a Logger. Ah, go on, Logger. I assume that was a logger. I hope it was. If it was one of my neighbours dressed up in a log, I'd just murder them. Ah, it's Lord Leonel. Oh, I've got a little picture. How, hi, Maurice. How is your day going? Hello, sir. Not too bad. Just going for a walk about town. Not going to lie. You seem a bit stressed. Did anything happen? What should I say? Uh, should we, oh, it's just, I'm not going to tell him I stole from Anastasia. No. Fine. No. It was all fine. Nothing to see here. Everything is fine. Sun is shining. The birds. Is there anything to stop me just wandering off? Mm. You are. <laughs> oh, okay, he's gone to sleep again. Um, hmm. If you say so, I will believe you. After all, you've been my trustworthy student for so many years. Oh. Oh, what happened to Anastasia? Do you think someone stole from her? Uh, no, I, I don't know what happened. No, what could possibly be it be? Oh, News that's, travels fast, oh, that's awful. Oh no, why would someone do that to her? What cruel soul to poor Anastasia. With the woodloggers, and they said it will help out if they get to keep 50% of it. Mm, okay. And confess it. Why? No, don't do that. Ah, oh, they've taken my agency away. You've been my headmaster for so oh, that is the headmaster. I know I've taken a big risk, but I really had to. What, Maurice? What did you do? Okay, I'm confessing everything. Uh, yeah. What? How could you do that? I helped you so many times with your debt. Did I not just give you money last week? Um, uh, uh, we've been honest now. I suppose to be honest. Well, they said it was not enough. They needed more. Went to Taff and gambled them. Oh dear. The, the list of our sins grows. <laughs> Turns out the headmaster's very good at poker. Uh, let's, let's, let, let's be calm and ask for help. Everything you do for me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I quite like that I can click to, to get the text to come out. That's good. Um, there are many others in the same situation. Archie can offer you a safe haven. Pass the enlightened forest and through the impossible maze. Go there and tell Archie. Alright, let's do that. Fine. I've got this giant question mark over my head, but... So, into the forest. Okay, go on. These are the loggers. They don't seem that tough, to be honest. Well, that one got me, but... Perhaps they have just a, there's a high quantity of them, and that's what's the uh, scary bit. Yeah. Oh, the impossible maze. Hello, mister. What brings you to the impossible maze? Um, I'm waste the land of the unknown. We're in the right place, the maze is a few steps away. It's very slightly wordy, I think, this. You've got to be so careful with text volume in these games. It's not too bad. But, yeah, but I wouldn't say the the story's at the moment worth all the extra text, if that makes sense. Yes. So now they're sending me into the impossible maze. Thanks for that. Ah, uh, right, here again. Ah, that's they're tougher than I thought. Okay. You've only got half a health left, it looks like. I have only got half a health left. I'm sure it'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Ah, game over. You are killed by one of the members of the Wood Clan. Play again, exit game. Hmm. I suspect that they should have thought a little bit about 
enabling us to carry on through the game even if we died because it's going to take quite a yeah. long way to do this or possibly have a save have sort of um save points because this is that would be have been nice all right while i am making my way back to the the same bit shall we um start having a look at some of those criteria yeah okay so we're on to quality presentation information design and aesthetics so I think the presentation's really nice. They've got a, a nice consistent set of tiles. Uh, all looks good. Um, yeah, the, there's a, a nice soundtrack. There's a there's a sort of pleasing blip 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 when the um, when the words come on screen. There's not any sound effects from the game though, which is a bit of a shame. But there is there is you know there is uh, some sound and music. Um, and the information design. What do you think? Um. It looks nice. You got the health on the top left. You got the text boxes which pop up. The weird question mark that comes above your head when something's gonna when yeah. you first meet these guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so I mean, there's not an awful lot of information I guess they're conveying. There's yeah. There's you said there's the health. There's the question mark thing. And then there's the that pit turns into the item when you get it, um, but it's effective. You know, even things like this little little um, triangle down the bottom here that says you could. Um, oh, I'm gonna be honest with him this time. I just want him to help me. I need to be honest about my debts. Uh, be calm and ask for help. Okay, so I think what would be good for presentation. So good for presentation, we have. Uh, key information is shown clearly. Graphics are consistent. Appropriate use of audio. So I think I think it's there, isn't it? What would be excellent? Yeah. Excellent. We've got key information is shown clearly. Consistent and appealing graphics. Good use of audio. So I don't think the audio quite gets to good, but I think the graphics are kind of there. Um, so I think maybe halfway between good and excellent. You know, it's a nice looking game. Okay. So next we're on to the gameplay. How are you finding it? Um, it's it's okay actually. Yeah, the kind of um, the controls are, are pretty good and, and snappy. All makes kind of sense, and I do feel. I mean, obviously I've had to have to repeat stuff, so I feel a little bit meandering, but I do feel like I've um, I'm in control and I'm kind of playing. So yeah, I, what what would good be? Um, so good, we've got a set of complementary mechanics and smooth, usable controls that leads to meaningful play. Yeah, I think we're we're there. Don't particularly fancy playing him. Um, so what would excellent be? So excellent, we've got a wide set of complementary mechanics and intuitive and smooth, usable controls that lead to enjoyable and meaningful play. So I, what mechanics have we got? Let's have a think about this. So we've got I can I can fight. It's a little bit of an afterthought, but it is kind of there. Um, I've got the picking stuff up. Um, I've got uh, kind of interacting with people. Uh, go up the hill and you'll find a cave. Okay, perhaps that's the way to go then. Um, oh. So, uh, so yeah. So I think it's kind of. Um, oh, I think it's pretty good. Okay, before we go on, let's do the gameplay bit. So, um, yeah, what would good be? Uh, so for bugs, yeah? Uh, sorry, for, for gameplay. Gameplay, a set of complementary mechanics and smooth usable controls that leads to meaningful play. Yeah, so I think we're definitely there. Um, and what would excellent be? So excellent, we have got a wide set of complementary mechanics and intuitive and smooth usable controls that lead to enjoyable and meaningful play. So maybe we, we kind of... Yeah, maybe some of those words doesn't quite get to intuitive. Is it a wide set of mechanics? Maybe not quite. So maybe halfway between good and excellent. Okay, that sounds good. And then as for bugs, I think we've definitely got a complex game. It's relatively bug-free. We've there's a few things like I don't know whether you've managed to notice, but this um, the the box where the text thing pops up that kind of wobbles about oddly every now and again, and that little uh, bubble above my head doesn't necessarily seem to work completely correctly. So I think there's kind of some minor issues there. So again, maybe maybe it's not quite excellent. Maybe it's halfway between bug uh, between good and excellent. Yeah, 
I mean, I've also noticed some some spelling mistakes and stuff in the text. So it, it makes it seem like it was a bit rushed at the end. Who'd have thought? Eh? Um, Who'd have thought getting a coursework done? Um, okay. Um, uh, right, let's see what let's see what this chat wants. I'm trying to hide from the loggers. Archie, what kind of soul is he? Come inside and ask Mayor where you can find him. Okay. Let's have a uh, a look. So, what's going on there? Um, okay, so we're in the cave. This is a bit strange. Should we go and talk to these people? That is one deep hole. Don't we all wonder? I wonder how long you've been standing there thinking that. <laughs> Who are you and how did you find out about your hiding spot? Hi, I'm Maurice. But my headmaster said, those dumb loggers. Do you have any questions? Yeah, sure. Oh, he's in the next room down by the water. Go and have a chat with him. Okay beat me up. Alright, so we're getting an impression that Archie's a good guy. Which way do you think I ought to go to find Archie? He said down, didn't he? Did he? I also noticed that when you were talking to that last person, the yeah. the image changed. Oh, did it? Okay. Yeah, there's a there's a odd little glitches, I think. Yeah, so yeah. I think it said down, but I think he meant go right, but there wasn't any way to... There was no indication that you should go right. So which one of these people do you think is Archie? I think he's the one with hearts on his pants for no reason. Maybe the guy with the hood in the corner? This place is safe. He looks wise. I'm sorry for <laughs> Nothing like a hood to look wise. Ah, it is Archie. What a good man. I don't want to imagine what he's going through right now. What do you mean? He has been arrested. Oh, he confessed that he stole from one of his workers? Honestly. Uh, do we, do we save Lionel? Or do not save Lionel? Save? I guess save him? Why not? Lord Lionel, prison by the loggers for trying to help. Was he the headmaster? He's, yeah, the one who, I... he's the one who told us off for stealing. And then he's been off pinching so, for other people. He may have confessed. That's what I'm thinking. He's confessed for us. Um... Maybe. Well, you're you have a you have a kind and generous nature, right? So sorry, I missed that. Oh, the water is so relaxing. Yeah. So I think I have to go and do something, but I kind of missed what it was. So again, it's quite a useful idea to to have a kind of this is your objective thing. I wonder if I go yeah. to talk to yeah. these. Who are you? Yeah. See, they that text hasn't changed, which is a shame. So it's the same text as I had before. Even if it was just they do a, a lot of guys with sort of unique text, so it would be nice. But it'd be nice if there was a oh you again, right? Where do you think I should go? Where am I going? Castle, some sort of castle. Ah, get off me! I don't want to die again. That'd be bad. Oh, there's a chef. Hello, traveller. Where are you heading? To the castle. Oh, that's helpful. Thanks. Very Strange place to find a chef, I must say. But you know, he's a very helpful chef, so uh, let's not look the chef in the mouth. Can we get in there? Find the key to the dungeon and go save Lionel. Oh, that was a click. All right. So, so what do we want to say for bugs? Should we go through the um, so, area? Yeah. So I think I think we we kind of suggest that the, said that the bugs were sort of it, there were a few little things. Um, so maybe it wasn't quite excellent. Um, so I think maybe halfway between good and excellent. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, so they're minor and uncommon. Yeah, I think so. It's kind of... Oh, I can go... Okay. Does this appear to be in the dungeon? Ah, who's that? That's Lionel. Did I have a key? I came to save you. You know, save the village from the cave. You all ran away from the woodloggers. <laughs> mm, I think the denouement is a bit sudden, but okay. We'll not find you. Now you can live a happy and joyful life without fear of debt. Okay, we've done it. Right. right. We have seen the thing. Okay, so 
we've been through once, so I think we can have. A, I'll, I'll try and do something different this time. But let's um, let's talk about the story engine. So what we're interested in here is in what ways does the narrative change the game world, and what ways does the game world change the narrative. So what did they say? Because we did ask them to say in their game notes how it went both ways. Right. Yeah. Let me just pull that up. So how does the narrative impact the game world? The player will have to go down and collect... Oh, no, this is the wrong one. Sorry. Um, Arise is, is a villager of the Meron town. One of his challenges is to find money to pay back the Woodlog Woodlogger's clan. He must steal from one of his close friends and co-workers, fight the Woodlogger's clan, solve puzzles, and hide to survive his headmaster. Blah, 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 blah. So the narrative impacts the game world by changing the flow of things. Depending on your choices, for example, if you are mean and lie to your headmaster, you will not be able to get to the cave, hide out, as you do not know anyone from there. On the same note, if you are honest and respectful to your headmaster, he will give you more details on the hideout. Your final decision will be if you want to save Leonel or not. Okay. If you do, he will show kindness and courage, but if you have an unlucky ending, if you do not. Um, so there seems to be two branches, really. All right. So, so essentially, the way that it changes the game world is if I if I carry on lying here, um, then I'm not able to get into the cave. So there's actually okay. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can do that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fess up. I'm going to lie about my debts. I could ask for help again. Lies, lies, lies. Oh dear. Oh dear. So now I'm beginning to wonder whether that shaking of the thing is actually run away and never come back. Yeah, whether it's deliberate because it's supposed to be shouting. But, all right, so run away and don't come back. I'm trying to run away, but I appear to be in this sort of weird garden. Okay, so I can't go up there. All right, so so we, we think that the story, I mean, we'll, we'll go and find out now, but we think that the story impacts the game world. What about the game world impacting the story? Um, so the narrative impacts the game through its flow. The game world is built around the um, decided narrative by building corresponding scenes or rooms for each narrative part. Moreover, the narrative makes the player feel more involved in the game as it allows them to make impactful decisions. Our narrative tells the story of Maurice and lets the player be part of the story. Uh, so, but do they actually answer the question? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Um... Because I, I can't... Other than dying, which resets the game, which is obviously not great, I can't see a way... I suppose you unlock stuff, so if you go and you, you, know, you get the money and that unlocks the next bit of the story, but it's not clear whether you can choose not to do that or... So it's yeah. it, it looks to me like the interaction is, is relatively minor that way. So what would, what would good be for a story? So for good we have... Oh, let's try and get uh, an effective story engine that is integrated with the game world. Um, there are some examples where the story impacts the game world and is impacted by events from the game world. So, I don't think they're quite there. What would satisfactory be? So that's a simple story engine that has limited integration with the game world. Um, there are some examples where the story impacts the game world or is impacted by, by events from the game world. Okay. Which sounds a bit more on... Point. Yeah, the so, point so there was an example there where this guy wouldn't let us in the cave. So a choice we made in the narrative changes the game world. But the, the only game world thing that changes is progression and death, basically. So you have to do things mm. to progress. So I, I think I think maybe yeah, maybe it's uh, satisfactory for the for that part. Yeah. So what about agency? So this is all about how many branches mm. they have? And how rich the choices are, basically, and um, yeah, whether they manage our agency. So, what what are, we ask them to hand in a sort of story structure? Um, so, did they do that? Is that in the game notes? Um, so, I kind of mentioned this at the beginning. Um, so, so Lionel will either help him or turn him in because Lionel cares about Maurice a lot. Even if he chooses to turn him in, he will still let him know about the hideout spot. Yeah, okay. So there was kind of. So actually, there's a. So there's another example of where the game world almost changed the narrative, right? 
because yeah. I got caught by a guard and then they've thrown me in jail. But what's actually happened is I've effectively died. It's just that the death ending is imprisonment. So it hasn't yeah. really resolved. Yeah. So it's almost there's just dead ends and if dead you make ends, the wrong yeah. decision, it restart. Um... So there's a couple of those and then there's the key one with the headmaster. So I don't know whether that's... I don't think that really counts as a wide selection of choices, but I think it certainly counts as at least one choice. Um, and then in terms of managing your agency, uh, they've, the, I don't, I, I don't know if they have really. So what have they done? So they manage your agency in terms of, um, well, we can't get into the cave. That's not really, I suppose, I suppose you could argue that's kind of managed agency. So it's kind of saying if you haven't, if you haven't, made those connections then the guard won't let you into the cave and therefore that stops you just barging into the cave and kind of interacting in those ways but it's quite blunt what would what would satisfactory be for agency so for satisfactory we have i'm going to refuse um, to steal from her and see what happens an interactive story with several branching points and some interesting choices okay so what are the choices interesting do you think but it's either die or carry on. <laughs> well, you know, there's the one where you lie to your master or not. So what's your incentive for, you know, why would you lie or not? What information have you got? Well, uh, I guess he's helped you out before. But, you, I mean, I'm not emotionally connected to that because yeah, it's just what the story's telling me. So, ah, so here's an example of managing my agency, right? It won't let me out. But there's nothing here. There's, there's you know, you'd, you'd expect there to be... At least he should say, "I can't go out there. I haven't paid. I haven't got the money for the loggers yet, or something, right?" Yeah. So it just sort of stops you. Yeah. Okay. So um. Yeah. So sorry. We were we were looking at the satisfactory one, weren't we? So I think it. I think it. I think it probably does hit the satisfactory one. I think kind of, the choice isn't obvious what to do. They haven't given you much reason to make it either way. But at least it isn't a kind of an obvious. Um, uh, yeah, it's not. It's not kind of necessarily obvious what you should do. Yeah, so it won't. It won't let me carry on here until I do this. So it is managing my agency. So I think agency is probably satisfactory. Okay. Yeah. But, but you know, but barely. I think. I think they should have had some more significant choices in there, really. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, okay. I agree. Poetic. So this is. This is whether the gameplay. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, because I haven't got the I got the key, but I haven't got the money. <sighs> All right. So gameplay. Um, uh, sorry, poetics. So this is whether the gameplay is a part of telling the story. Um, this is interesting. What what fable is this? Do you think? Uh, well, I guess it's the because. The lion and the mouse, because you're just—it's about trust and helping people and forgiveness. It seems that way, thing. but I mean, did they say in their game notes? In the notes, they've said the story is inspired by the lion and the mouse. Yeah. Ugh, you appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. So, so, so it's about so it's about doing favors for you, and then you come back. I mean, I would say, as far as I can tell, the gameplay has, has, the story is about that, but the gameplay, which is, you know, finding stuff, stealing from people, fighting logs, um, it, it's not clear to me that's got anything to do with the, with the the main thrust of the of the, of the game. So just kind of, it's, I don't wouldn't say it's against it, because it enables you to. It enables you to kind of um, help people or not, but it's it's not embedded in the gameplay. So, what would what would satisfactory be for poetics? Satisfactory would be uh, narrative and gameplay do not interfere with one another, but the key mechanics have little to do with the themes of the story. Yeah, so it feels it feels like that, doesn't it? It's like there's they're not they're not bad. It's just they don't do they don't contribute anything. They're kind of they're separate. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so satisfactory for that then. Um, techniques. So this is the way in which they tell the story, and the pacing of the story. Um, uh, 
Yeah, so... Um, what do we think of the pacing? Um... Kind of... I'm not sure. So... I'm not sure. So I kind of... It's a bit oddly paced, isn't it? it? It's it's it starts to rise. You kind of start off, and you kind of you've got to go and steal from your neighbor, Stealing. and you know it's, that's that's fairly simple to do. Um, and then it, you know, you've got this bit where you've got to negotiate the maze, and it all gets a bit more tense, and you're doing all this stuff. And then at the end, it's a bit strange because you kind of just go into the the the, the castle. So it feels like there's a narrative climax, but not really a game climax. It kind of they don't match. Yeah, you just go and talk to him at the end of the game. But... So I, I think that's a so, that's a. So he went. Did you say he wouldn't let me in again? It's because I was rude. I was honest, but rude. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to try and get into the castle by avoiding the guard. It's quite helpful that you can go faster than those guys. Um, hello, traveller. Where are you heading? To the castle. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, so I think the pacing is kind of a bit, a bit uneven. Techniques. How do they tell the story? So, ooh, oh, I can't get in. Find the key to the dungeon and go save Lionel. Yeah. So, um, oh, I did find it. It's a key. I did find it. So, so um, we've got dialogue. Yeah. We've got dialogue. information. We got. Would you say there's environmental storytelling? I, I, I don't think there's an awful lot of that. You know, they they've got some decent locations, like you know here with the bones all over the place and everything. Yeah. Um, I came to save you. Save the Cave. Okay, you ran away with the loggers. You moved to a new town. It was repaid. Hmm. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. So in terms of so, in terms of the techniques, I think it might just be the dialogue. Really, there's not a lot of yeah. effort to to. They set scenes with the graphics, but they don't really try and tell a story with the graphics at all. So, what would satisfactory be for techniques? So, for satisfactory, we have some ascending pacing and use of at least one game writing technique. So, which we're saying is the dialogue. Yeah, I think I think the dialogue works fine. Um, and what would pass be? I'm just thinking for the for the pacing. So it would be pacing is unclear or flat. Partial successful attempt to use at least one game writing technique. So, so I think the pacing is probably a pass, and the and the technique, uh, the dialogue is probably a satisfactory. So probably halfway between the two for techniques. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. Um, okay, and then feedback. So what do they say? Um, so it was suggested by one of the demonstrators that we should ensure that the player becomes familiar with the controls before starting to play. In response to this, we decided to make the main menu very similar to in-game. The players must move towards a chest, interact with it, and move along the bridge to start the game. Similarly, he can choose to quit the game by moving to the left. In this way, it is ensured the player becomes familiar with the primary game dynamics before starting to play. Oh yeah, that was the whole thing where I kind of teleported around at the beginning, wasn't it? Which 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 sort yeah. of worked in sort of familiarising me with the controls, but, but also confused me. Um, yeah, I was going to say it. It's probably a bit confusing. So after explaining this, our story, it was suggested that we should avoid finishing the story too fast, since that would not allow the player to see any actual consequences. We were also advised to make the consequences more noticeable and more impactful. In response to this, we eliminated any choices that could end the game very quickly. Additionally, yep. we made sure that some choices have had an impact at a later part of the game. This means, depending on the choice of the player and how he interacts with the other okay. characters affected, how the story will unfold. So that, that kind of works. They kind of, you know... So they they've kind of clearly changed. So the bit with a cave, for example, you know that adjusts so you can't go in. So yeah, that that kind of works well. And I'd say the first one is is partially successful. So what what would a satisfactory be for feedback? So satisfactory would be feedback was articulated and some changes have been made with partial success. So that sounds to me like where we are, doesn't it? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Okay, so good-looking game. I think kind of um, they probably the, the the biggest thing to improve it would have been to to, to try and put a few more of those choices in. Um, but otherwise, they they're demonstrating some 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 nice things. Um, 
And the other thing I would have tried to do is tried to use the environment to tell the story, or possibly use cutscenes for the intro and the outro to kind of have different techniques. Yeah. Um, and of course, the one of the main things would be to think about integrating that gameplay. But but yeah, not a bad attempt at all. Shall we shall we move on to our next game? Okay, so our next game is Mission of Cain. Ah, okay. It's a very atmospheric screen. Oh, I get some nice music playing in the background. Very relaxing. Let's play. Cain, I managed to escape from the Ravenous Wolf's prison. So, a, a little bit of a, of a graphical shift from the from the intro screen to the game itself. So I think um, a good tip is to, if, if you're not making the art yourself, um, then a, a good tip is to make the intro screen out of the assets of the game. Um, and, and then you can't, you know, don't have that problem. But there you go. Uh, I managed to escape from the ravenous wolf's prison. My sister is still prison behind these doors. I have to figure a way, my way in and save her. A wise mouse in this forest. I wonder which favourite it could be. Maybe you can help me to figure out what to do. Use the right arrow key to move under the tutorial section. Okay. So, can I use fast? No. So this is going to be arrow keys. There we go. Oh, and I can jump. I it hasn't told me that. But I can really jump as well. Look at him go. <laughs> he, he should be in the Olympics. It's like, that's 18 feet, I reckon. Okay, move left and right to move left and right. Arrow key is to jump. C is the attack key. So that's Strange, interesting. But... So that's interesting because because my right hand is on the mouse and my left hand is on the arrow keys and my other hand has to press the C key. So with that, unless I tap it with my <laughs> nose, it's going to be tough. Uh, try to climb over woods and paths to get away from the wild thorns. Attack wild forest animals wandering about the forest. Does seem very nice. If you collect health particles around the map, you will generate health. Okay, so that's so that okay. a bit of an information dump. A little um, bit, but at least that's there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and I can swing that big sword. Let me go. Oh, oh, it's like a. Okay, so it's like a platformer. The wise rat, vise rat. Vi vi vise, vise, vise. Rat. I think you meant to put an accent on it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, those were death things. I didn't <laughs> notice. I confess. So oh. perhaps if I go that way, I can. So I have to go into the tutorial. I don't want to go into the tutorial. I... Oh, okay. That's good. I can just carry on. All right. So those are death spikes under there. I, I thought they were like a hedge or something, but they're not. All right. So the wise rat. So let me leap over him. Hello. Wise mouse sounds right, but I don't want to waste time. Should I go pick the diamond and help the rat or continue to find my sister? What diamond? Okay. What sister? What sister? Oh no, his sister was in prison. That was the blurb at the beginning. So we. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's our goal is to try and find a way to rescue her. Um, should I go pick the diamond? Hmm. Is the I mean, heart the diamond? He's a horrible-looking mouse rat. Yeah, he's almost a half so, man, half rat. So I think obviously it's a bit. This is. So we have a vise rat on the screen, a wise mouse on the text. And again, notice the graphics are totally different for the rat. It really looks odd. Yeah, and the um, heart, but it's also a diamond, possibly. I don't know. Let's help the mouse and see what happens. Hello, mouse. Oh, I'm supposed to do this thing. How do oh. we help him? Oh, I can help mouse. So, okay, so I go over here. Oh, greetings. Kane speaking to wise mouse. My scouts for you, my sister is... Mouse, I can lead you. I need you to do me a favour. Sure. And he, oh, I think I've jumped over him. I think I'm supposed to jump down on top of him, have this conversation, and then it gives me the, are you going to help the me next or not? One. Yeah. So I think that's just a little bug. Ah, uh, there we go. Go into the cave, cave below. All right. So then I go, I go down here. It says, are you going to do it? See, why, why give me this? So what happens if I say help mouse and then just run away? It seems like nothing. Why, why give me the op why bring it up as a dialogue choice? So I will help him, but it just seems kind of odd. It's a snail. Oh, what was attack again? C. C. Yeah, that classic attack button. 
Ah! Oh dear. That didn't go well. We're back here again. Alright, 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 alright. We know what we're doing. Here. I'd love just a god mode button on these games. <laughs> well, so if I so what should have happened is I should have done here and had a, had a long and deep conversation with the wise mouse. And then I should have gone here. Uh, so if I say don't help mouse, and then I go down. What do you think will happen? Yeah, you, you get a gem anyway. Mm. Yeah, who knows? Oh, that's the gem. Huh. That's the gem. Again, very different graphically from everything else. Let's go out. So I said I wouldn't help him, and then I went and got the diamond anyway. Should I help the rat? Yeah. Help mouse. Greetings, Kane. Sure. That way. Okay, thanks for the help. I just. Well, I got the diamond. I want to help him. How do I give him the diamond? Hmm. Okay, I think there's some problems with the logic here. I'm just going to have to carry on. So, some snails. Ah, oh. oh, health. Okay, can I jump on those? Yes. Ah! Oh, no. That was bad. Where am I going now? Anybody know? Okay. Ah, the Lion King. Blimey. Um, how dare Copyright. you come across my land? I was being held prisoner by the evil wolf. I managed to escape my sisters to the mare. The evil wolf, he has been the arch enemy for many years now. I know his weakness, can you help me to defeat him? If you jump over him and hit him where he is not expecting it, he will be hurt. Okay, that's kind of helpful. Um, oh gosh, I forgot about that again. I didn't seem to die then, I just landed on them. I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining, but... Oh. oh, I'm really struggling to think to see what's um what's platform and what isn't. Is that right? Yeah, it doesn't blend well, does it? It's no sense of depth. No, a bit of parallax or something would have been sort of right. But okay, okay. I'm not really sure what I'm doing now. I'm kind of, I suppose I'm trying to find the. Big bad, so I can defeat him by jumping over and hitting him in the back. Yeah. Okay, let's go up here. Yay! Oh, I would like to be able to jump like that, though. Yeah, he's uh, it's quite impressive, isn't it? Effortless. It's also a bit annoying that that after you hit them, they they carry on coming towards you for a bit. Ah, uh, this prison. It's uh, Let's it's ragged off, forward. is it? No. They've obviously thought, we've seen you playing games before, so we're going to let you fill you up with lots of health. Thank you for that. Right. Haha, -ha, it's the big bad wolf on a flying saucer. <laughs> Cerberus. Right, over him. Ah. Well, that did the job. That was easy. Ah. Oh god, you she's my huge. Sister. That's your sister. What have they done to her? Okay. Stretched her skin off. Okay. Of All right. So, um, it is worth saying this is the work of a single person as well. So, yeah. um, we ought to kind of bear that in mind as we go through the um, as we go through the criteria. Um, so, I'm going to start running through it again. Um, and what do we think about the presentation? Um, I think it's okay. You know, it's it's a bit inconsistent, especially with the you know yeah, the different I, sized I, animals. I, I, I think. The main character and the background fit in, but the other ones don't necessarily. Even things like that tutorial sign. Um, it's a shame that they, they couldn't somehow just use that set, you know? Because I think that, I, that re it, it does make it look like a mishmash of things, and it, it lacks... I feel like the tutorial it. sign was almost unnecessary to put in there. You could have just... Yeah, in a way, because it's in your way anyway, and it's forcing you to, yeah. to kind of go that way. So, yeah... I mean the the music, by the way, we've got some 
some you know there's some nice music playing um watch what it's no i'm not getting any sound effects so i did that on purpose just to see if i wait if i went Ugh. so i've got some music but i've got no other sound effects um and information design so i've got kind of the hearts up in the top right that's that's pretty clear um but other yep. things and there's a flash there to say that i've taken damage actually that's quite good but otherwise as i said it's kind of quite hard to see um it's not you know there's some odd decisions like this having this text above the character um and you know the dialogues it's very hard to see what on earth the dialogues do so if i don't bother to help the rat or the wise mouse king i still don't understand why that dialogue pops up don't help the mouse um yeah okay so what would satisfactory be so for satisfactory we have um, key information is shown, consistent graphic, some audio effects or music. So I don't think we're quite on the consistent graphic, so what would the pass be? Some attempt at information design, consistent but poorly chosen graphics, some poorly chosen audio. Okay, and what would be inconsistent graphics? Is that down at the... Poor? That's poor. So... Uh... There's only, I mean, you know, there's only pieces of it which are like that. So I, I would kind of feel mean, I think, about putting the whole thing down there. Um, and there is some yeah. audio. So it feels maybe it's, it's, you know, the information design, it's probably around the pass level, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so what about the, the gameplay? So what mechanics have we got? We've got jumping, we've got attacking. Can I attack him? No, that's a shame. Um, um, yeah, uh, I've got the dialogue. So I've, I've, got, I've got a reasonable but not a huge set of mechanics. Um, the controls, yeah, by the yeah. way, are pretty good. Apart from the fact they're on weird keys. I, 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 I don't know why... Yeah. Yeah, it should have been something like a... Uh, so what is jump? Is that up, up. or space? It's up, Sorry. yeah, space. So, but, but it's not on the WASD... <coughs> it's not on the WASD keys, it's on the, on the arrow keys. So... Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, but other than that, they're, they're, they work well. I mean, I think that's a fairly minor thing. So, so I think there's a reasonable set of mechanics, and I think the controls are reasonable. Um, what would satisfactory mm -hmm. be? So the satisfactory, we have a set of mechanics and usable controls that lead to some meaningful play. Uh, a set of mechanics, meaningful controls. I I think I think that's fair. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay. So, um, what about um, bugs? So we have, I think, seen a few bugs, right? So we've got like these kind of weird inconsistencies, the overlapping dialogues. The fact it's not entirely clear what these do. Um, diamond, I didn't seem to be able to do anything with. So, I, but they're not really game-breaking bugs. So I would say that they feel like sort of frequent minor bugs. Uh, and the game has a reasonable level of complexity. So what what would that be? So uh, it's like reasonably complex. Uh, infrequent serious bugs or frequent minor bugs. Yeah. So the satisfactory level. Yeah, so I think I think we're kind of there. Okie dokie. Okay, so, so story engine next, right? So, yeah. So this is basically how the game impacts the story, and the story impacts the game. We did ask them to say this in their game notes. So what did the the, the students say in the the game notes about um, about what's going on here? So. Um... So this is how does the narrative impact the game world. Uh, the player will have to go down and collect the gem in the Wise Rats cage to progress successfully to the game oh. by learning some important skills. Oh. The animal there are the player's oh, we've just had mission a... to get rid of them, collect the needed item. Okay, hang on a second. I just had an infrequent major bug. So I, 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 I hit the snail and got shot backwards into this wall and now I can't do anything. I'm stuck. Ah, that's a slight shame. So, so that would still infrequent serious bug still fits under satisfactory. Yeah, I think I think we should. Uh, I wonder if I can do that. Yes, I can. Let's play again. 
Yeah, all right, so we'll leave that the same. So sorry, you were just saying about the story engine and what they said they'd done. Yeah, so it, it seems like um, the narrative impacts the game world by the player having to go down to click the gem to progress successfully. Um, and it says we learn some important skills by doing that. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's not... So if I don't have yeah. to do that right, I can just... And it's the player's mission to get rid of the animals and collect the needed items. So no, it didn't that's... to answer the question. No. So let's think about it. So... Um... Oh, I'm stuck again. Yeah, that, that's fr that's frustrating. It's when you when you get hit by something. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's think about this. So so what are the ways that the that the narrative, one of the choices I make, how do they change the game world? Um, I don't think they do. I don't think it matters what I say. The game is going to be the same, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it seems to be. Um, it, it says we have we have to collect the diamond to progress successfully, but but we haven't. I think we so we'll find right. out now if that does anything. But I don't think it really will, apart from you know a different ending screen maybe. But but have I, have, do I even have any choices here? For example, no. So I just get information here. So it's the the diamond's the one is the only one that gives me a choice. I think. Yeah, but the the sort of dummy box which said. Which one do you want to do? But it didn't. It didn't really change anything. Because you yeah. could still do the opposite of what you clicked. Yes. So that doesn't. So I think part of the problem here is we we actually have no real choices. We're presented with a choice, but it doesn't really have consequence. Yeah. Um, I mean, if we didn't collect the diamond, we might not be able to win. So we'll find that out. But I don't. You know, that's. Well, the Lion King still told us the trick, right? We just talked to him, and he told us. Oh, did he? I think so. I, was, I'm like, I confess, I zipped past it. Um, <laughs> so I'm not altogether sure. Uh, so also, I appear to be able to... Yeah. Okay, I didn't even have to jump past him then. You saved your sister. Yeah, okay. So, so it didn't really seem like... It didn't make anything. So I think we have a problem here because I have a feeling that the story engine is it doesn't exist. I kind of there's no evidence that anything you anything you do in the narrative bit changes the game, or that anything you do in the game changes the narrative bit, right? So we, you know. So it says the implementation of meaningful choices is when Kane talks with the wise rat. He has the option of listen to the rat by going down the cave and kill the wild animals and then collect the gem that was guarded, or you don't go into the cave and continue his mission by not wasting any time. So uh, it doesn't really... No, it doesn't need... help. So so I, I have a feeling that although there's a... It feels like a game with a narrative premise. So it explains what you're supposed to be doing. And at the end it says, congratulations, you saved your sister. And then you have dialogue with the king halfway along that kind of pushes you along a bit. But it's not interactive. It's not... There's no choices here at all. Mm, mm. Um... I mean, I will double check and go and go and try and talk to the uh, to the old Lion King and see what what happens. But oh, um, so yeah, I mean, I, I have a feeling. I mean, what would? I mean, we do have an absent category, right? So yeah, we do, so, which is a story premise, but so no serious attempt at integrating the story with the game. Which is pretty much exactly what we just said, yeah. Hmm. Um, I would say maybe a little bit better than that. What's pa what's uh, what's that was which was that absent? Yeah, so poor is some support for story elements in the game, but no real story engine. The story has no real impact on the game world and is not really impacted by events there. I think that's where we are, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's held yeah. prisoner. Yeah, so you just told me. Okay. So yeah, I think it's poor for story engine. It's it's uh, there's narrative things, there's narrative being delivered, but there's no kind of interaction. Um, mm -hmm. Agency. Uh, so this is a, this is the, to do with branching choices, meaningful choices, and whether they manage our agency. And part of the problem here is that there there almost are no choices in the game, right? Um, it's waste time or don't waste time, and what, that's even says yeah. that to me in what, the document. What would poor be? So poor would be 
an interactive story with few branching points, few interesting choices, and the player agency is problematic. What would absent be? A story with no branches or choices of consequence. Well, I mean, it, it feels to me that they've... Okay, so I my, my feeling would be that what they've delivered is a story with, with no branches or choices of consequence, but the design of the game clearly has it in, in there, so it just hasn't quite worked, right? They've got that interaction with the, with the mouse. So for that reason, I think maybe put it a little bit higher than absent. So put it somewhere between absent and poor, I think. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you, I mean, you could argue that wasting time is a consequence of a choice you made. Yeah. Um, but, going, but but then uh, the time time doesn't matter. So time is not true. a factor, right? So I, it's not really it's not really a consequence. <laughs> oh, I just walked into a bush again. Um, yeah, okay. Hermetics. So this is essentially how well the mechanics of the game, do they tell the story? So what do you think? Let me try and help the mouse this time. Let's see if not, I can get this to work. Not really. You, so you kill the, something. So what's the story about? Uh, is this what they've said it's about? or? Well, what do we, what do we think it's about? I mean, there's a lion and a rouse mouse, rouse mouse, rat nice. mouse. Yeah. So we've got the diamond. And there's a wolf. So. So that the elements. It doesn't say that it's. The, yeah, the elements from the lion and the mouse are there, and there's a little quest thing for the mouse. But the the gameplay is about jumping around and killing things. Help the mouse, and the mouse doesn't remember. Yeah, it doesn't know, so it doesn't it doesn't recognise that I've picked up the gem. Okay. So alright. So um I I mean I, I think that what we have here is a situation where it, it just it's not against the themes of the story, because the actions you're taking are enabling you to execute the story. But it, it's it's not helping at all. So what would what would satisfactory be? Satisfactory would be narrative and gameplay do not interfere with one another, but the key mechanics have little to do with the themes of the story. Yeah, I think it's that. So, uh, so satisfactory, I think, for the poetics. Um, and then we're into the techniques. So that's to do with the pacing of the game and the way in which the game story is told. So how's the the story is all told through those dialogues, and then those sort of pop up windows as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but there doesn't appear to be any. There's no attempt. To, oh, I always do that because they look exactly the same as. Yeah. So. Oh, I needed that. Um, so there's no script dance cutscenes or. No. So I think we've got one technique that's uh, that's used kind of, not quite executed properly, but but sort of just sort of there. And in terms of pacing. Mm -hmm. Um, do we have rising pacing? I, I don't know if we do, do we? We kind of... We... It's, it's it feels... Sort of flat? There's, there's it a sort seems of a, it's harder to kill the, the flying enemies than it does that final boss. Yes. I think the, the boss is there. So it, so again, I think they've kind, of, they've kind of... They've tried... They've tried to give you a, a climactic end scene. But it just hasn't worked because... Um, yeah, the, the boss just is, and they, you know, they've done that thing where you have to you have to do a thing to kind of. You know, but then I mean, that was really easy, right? I mean, at the very least, I should hit it a couple of times, and then it should turn round, and then I should have to do it again, <laughs> right? Um, so yeah, so so what would what would satisfactory be for techniques? So satisfactory would be some ascending pacing and use of at least one game writing technique. And what would pass be? Pacing is unclear or flat. Partially successful attempt to use at least one game writing technique. I think we're there. It's partially successful yeah, that's, because it that's... doesn't seem connected. So it seems like a pass for techniques. Um, yeah. Okay. And then lastly, feedback. So what feedback did they say they got? Um, so it said the branching of the game is quite basic, easy and fun 2D platformer game that has a good storyline of Kane that tries to save his sister from the evil's wolf cage. I was told at the feedback to have 
a cinematic kind of intro, but I implemented this as when the game starts, there is a text box popping up and explaining story and how to progress with the game. Right. So, so what was the... Uh, they, so what they were told to do? They were told to have a cinematic introduction. And then they did that by having a pop-up box explaining the story. Yeah, I mean, I, I presume they were told that in order to demonstrate a different technique. Um, but... But then they use that was the, the same, only one. Yeah. And then they use the same method. Um, yeah. So I, I, yeah. Is that the only feedback item that's there? That's that's all there that's is. It. So okay. So what would be a, a satisfactory for feedback? Um, feedback was articulated, and some changes have been made with partial success. Yeah. What would what would be a pass? So feedback was not well articulated, but some changes have been made with limited success. So it feels a bit more like that, right? They've kind of they've not really understood what the feedback was they were given, and they've tried to do something about it, and it's it's helped a little bit, but it hasn't solved the problem that the feedback was designed to solve. So I think that's that feels yeah. like a pass. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So good attempt. I mean, it's tough to to do something like this on your own is a difficult challenge. Um, uh, you know, and I, and I think that they've done well to actually create a, a game that's playable. Um, but the real problem here, I think, is that they haven't managed to connect together the choices. So it's all to do with the, the choices in the game and the way that the story engine works. I mean, they are so close. You know, all they needed to do was to get rid of the dialogue for the rat, right? Um, sorry, we'll get rid of the thing which says, yes, I'm going to help the rat or not. And then have a bit of code that says, when you talk to the rat, do you have the diamond? And if you do, you have a different set of dialogue. And if they'd done that, and if there was some kind of consequence to that help, I think it would have transformed this game, and it would have hit a lot more of the criteria a lot more easily. Um, yeah, so, a lot so, of way yeah, so, so close, I think. But... Okay, should we move on to our next game? Let's do that. Okay, so our next game is called The Struggle for Food. Okay, sounds interesting. All right. Oh, so I'm feeling dizzy. But I like that. Yeah, okay. Oh, I quite like... What on earth is going on with that level? I quite like the whole scrolling through the level thing, showing me what's coming. That's quite nice. Uses all the assets from the game to set the scene. Let's play. Ah. You're going to train with the dummy today. E. Get moving west to the dummy. It's the boat with a massive sword again. Oh, crikey, he really moves. Now, just like always, train, become stronger, and... Do good for others. Yes, Grandpa, I'll always remember. Left mouse button is attack. Take that, dummy. All right, that's enough. If you keep hitting that dummy, there won't be any time to head east to the forest and retrieve as much as you can. Uh, retrieve what? Can I jump? Oh, well, there's some precious food in there in these hard times. Just jump out, just jump over it. Oh my goodness! We thought the last guy could leap. Look at that! That oh, he's, he's like Superman. I reckon he could jump over that house. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't seem like I can. I can't, oh, I can't jump off the barrel. That's a shame. I can only jump off the ground. Perhaps it's very springy grass or something. Wait! Don't forget your potion. Press R to use potion. <coughs> okay, was well, that a health potion, do you think? It's the sort of same colour as the health. It Go to the forest sense. and collect some food. Okay, so I like the fact it's told me what I'm doing. Okay, I am I am very, very nimble, I'll be honest. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Oh yeah, the left mouse button is there. Who's this chap? Hello, E. Hey, I see your grandpa's doing as well as ever. I can't do anything with him. Okay. Oh, crikey. He's like the Sonic the Hedgehog of, <laughs> of adventure heroes. Um, so, is that a blind jump? I don't like blind jumps. Yeah, it was. Okay. Go to the forest and collect some food. I seem to be in the forest. Yes. E. E? Anyone here? No. 
Ah. Eh, You're losing health, use a potion. Oh yeah, what was that? Ah. Oh. Yeah, that was my fault. Hold S to go down. Oh, crikey. Ugh. Oh, that was, potion, bit, potion. that was a bit uncalled for. <laughs> oh, I found some carrots. That's food for some people. A rabbit, maybe? Yeah. Another oh. carrot. Crikey. Whoa. When I when I when I run, I go so fast. I'm close to the edge of the screen, and it's really freaky because you can't see what's coming. <laughs> ah, okay. There is a lady. Please help. My husband went down to the mines, and he has not returned. Um, all right. He works deep down there. Okay. Let's got another quest item. Are these the mines? Cool. Do you think? Oh. Uh, I am. Oh my life! Is that her husband? Do you think? Thanks for helping me. Return to the woman near the house. Ooh, okay. I can't. All right. I can't seem to get rid of that. Um, do you think I can jump up here? No. All right. So I just kind of have to jump up these. So not really much of a challenge down there, was there? Kind of. It's a dead end there. Kind of a. I was expecting. I thought there might be some. Like creatures or something. Oh, there we go, we made it up. Yeah. There's the lady gone. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Uh, no reward. I was hoping to get some food. Yeah. Oh, these caves are becoming more dangerous. Kill us and the goblins. I suppose. Kill the three goblins in the cave. Okay. Does it mean down here? I didn't see any goblins. There were goblins in the other bit where you came from. Yeah, do you think that's what it means? Oh no, they're here now. There's one. Where's the goblin gone? Ugh. Oh dear. Oh, that's still... Oh, that's good. It's, uh, it's, it's, got, it's remembered where I was. And I've still got the same quest. So... That's nice. Hold S to go down. That's good. Okay... Ah, uh, uh, this isn't going well. You gotta use them potions. Oh, I keep forgetting about those. Right, potion. I find it quite hard to actually fight the goblins. They kind of potion. So I killed a goblin. I killed one apparently. But the, yeah, it seemed like these goblins didn't count towards the goblin quest. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, it's the lady. Sorry, lady. Right. There's goblins in here. Where are you, goblins? Down, I think. I appear to have run out of potions. Yeah. Oh, sorry, mate. Thanks for saving me. No problem. Have you seen any other goblins? Maybe up there? So the one at the top? You think, what, this one, you mean? Yeah. No, no goblins up there. Hmm. We are goblinless. I'd be around here somewhere. Collect some forest and food in the forest. We haven't done that either. Yeah, I'm glad that you're helping me. Yeah, but where are the goblins? Can you there jump was up one, there? There was one goblin that we... that we... up here, you mean? Yeah. Uh, to the right, there was like a little ramp. Up oh, there, you mean? Yeah. Yes, you're right, I can. Oh, well, there's all sorts up here. Oh, I thought it was a, there is a platform. That's a bit hard to tell to tell apart, to be honest. Do you think the goblins... Do you think goblins live in trees? I don't know, I've never met one. We should get out more. Oh, I found the what other food. I can return to Grandpa. It's getting late. I should probably go back home. Not now. I want to kill the other goblins. It does say in the cave. Explicitly says in the cave. Is there no? Go Where are the goblins gone? I did kill one, and it didn't make. It didn't react. And I'm wondering whether that was actually the third goblin, and there's been a bit of a bug, and it hasn't noticed. 
There's definitely mm. one dead goblin there. And then I'm pretty sure there's a dead goblin there. And there's a dead goblin. See, that's three goblins, look. So yeah. is, is it because I, I don't know. Odd. All right. Can I go back to Grandpa, do you think? It's getting late. Yeah, go on. Yes. See what happens. Oh. We've been stolen. Well, that sounds bad. A thief just grabbed some food and he made a run for it. I couldn't catch up. I'll have to do something about it tomorrow. E on the door to sleep. Oh, that's a bit rude. Ah, he means to press E next to the door. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're going to investigate. You should go through the tunnel and look for people. Get as much information as possible. Find the thief! Okay. Which tunnel? This tunnel? Up here? Is that tunnel? This one? Where's the tunnel? Where do you think the tunnel is? Oh, do you think it's down here? Investigate the man who stole some food. No idea if I'm going the right way. I think. Do you think it might be that guy at the end? He wants to just kill all the goblins? Oh. Yeah, it might have been the guy that told you to kill the goblins, and because you didn't kill all the goblins, he came and stole your food. Well, he's not here now. He's gone. Oh, a, what's That's the my theory. Yeah, okay. Oh, what's this? I have not this passage that goes into the forest. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, it's a little bit of... Um, I can't get rid of it. But... So there's a little bit of there controlling my agency. So I couldn't I couldn't go in there before. So... What do you think's up here? Anything exciting? Hello? Ugh, what's that? It's the, the evil mushroom people. Uh, I've still got absolutely no idea if this is where I should be going. Ah, there's a man. Does he look like the sort of person who'd steal some food? Ugh. Ah. Okay. That's going to find out. No, he doesn't. Does he look like the sort of person... Oh! He had a sharp sword. I'm glad I was up here and I saw him. Okay. So, we're on the right track. That's quite handful, actually, because I was a bit lost. Anything in here? Ugh. Oh, dear. Ah, hang on. What? Ah, okay. I'm this bit. Um, okay, so while we're doing, while I'm doing this and trying to find my way around, like anywhere, there are so many goblins. Use a potion. Could you help to clear the goblins out of the cave? Uh, yeah, I guess that helps a lot. Thank you. Um, should we start going through the, some of the criteria? Yeah, let's do that. So first of all, we have the. Um, quality and presentation, information design, aesthetics. So it's quite nice, I'd say. Yeah, I mean it, it. It it does actually. There's I've got a nice sound effect when the sword swishes. The goblins make an appropriate noise, so that's nice. <laughs> um, it's pretty well, consistent. Yeah, I've got a little soundtrack going on, so I think there's good audio. There's good graphics. Information's pretty clear. I can I can see. When I'm attacking, I can see when they're hit. I've got my health up here. I've got my got my uh, quest down here, and yeah, I think it's actually done a pretty good job. What what would good be? So good would be key information is shown clearly, graphics are consistent, appropriate use of audio. So definitely there. And what would what would excellent be? Key information is clearly key information is shown clearly, consistent and appealing graphics, good use of audio. I think I think it achieves that. Don't you yeah, think? I'd say so. Uh, what would Prizeworthy be? So that's novel yet clear ways of showing key information, consistent and thematically oh. resonant graphics, excellent use of both audio effects and music. Yeah, I don't think we're quite at the novel stage, so, but I think excellent. I think excellent. They've done a, done a nice job. Yeah. Um, I don't think I want to be in here. Sounds good. Oh. Ah. Onto gameplay mechanics and controls. So how are the how are the controls? You said it's a they're, bit fast. They're, they're very twitchy, but I kind of like them. You know, there's <laughs> there's something there's something quite satisfying about being able to get away around quite so quick. Um, mm. the fighting is 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 dodgy. I just can't I can't do anything other than run up and hit people as fast as it possible. It seems like you always lose one health. I'm just gonna I'm just yeah. What's happening is I'm just trading blows, right? I mean, mm. they do sh sort of show you, but I like there. I'm trying to jump, but it won't let me jump. I don't know why. Oh, we're gonna start again. 
need to use those potions. Yeah. Okay. Um. Ah, I just run away. So, would you say it's a set of mechanics and usable controls that yep. lead to some meaningful play? Yes, I think that's definitely true. What would be the next one? Would you say the controls are smooth? Yes, I would. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I saw a man who was wearing. He looked pretty durable. Where'd he go then? So that's kind of reached the good tier um, for this one. Um, so would you, uh, is it a wide set of complementary mechanics and intuitive and smooth use of controls that lead to enjoyable and meaningful play? That's sort of the excellent category. I, they're kind of getting near there, I'd say. I, yeah, so I, I'd say it's, it's, a bit, it's a little bit... Some of the fighting's a little bit sticky, and the mechanics are yeah. relatively straightforward. There's not, I wouldn't say there's a huge number. But maybe halfway between the two. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. bugs. So we noticed some bugs with the quest for killing the goblins, we think. Yes. Sort of a minor minor one. I, 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 otherwise, I think, you know, there's plenty of complexity here. So, um, you know, I think good would be that it has some minor bugs, and excellent would be that it's relatively complex and yet has no real bugs. So I think maybe, yeah, halfway, so really... maybe halfway between the two. Oh, that's interesting. I can't go in there. There. So we don't really know how the story engine affects anything yet, do we? Because we haven't really no. got to an ending, so, and yeah. it seems a bit seems a bit long. But I can read what they've sort of said about it. Yeah, I'm also a bit puzzled. I'm not sure where I'm. Oh, for God's sake! The fight, that fight, the fighting thing is a real pain because I I just cannot defeat. Um, where am I going? I keep getting lost as well. Will it be in here? No. Um, yeah, sorry, where do we get to? So we're in the story engine, but we haven't really been able to see it. So what does their, what um, does I, their um, yeah, game notes say? Yeah, so it says, Our story engine is a series of quests and scene flags that work together to decide which objects are in the scene and how many NPCs should react to the player at any given time. The game is also split into three distinct ways, where the actions of the previous day influence the NPC's location and what parts are available to them on each day. The game contains cutscenes that the player views whenever they interact with NPCs. In these cutscenes, there is dialogue between the NPC and the player about the world and current situation they are in. Okay. If the NPC has a quest, they will offer it to the player, and they can either accept a request, and so on, so on. So, okay, but that's not answering the question. That's not the answering the question, right? So, what's the? So, what is the answer to the question? Of completing the quests. I saw him at the bar. He looked pretty dangerous. And if you don't complete the task by the end of the day, it presumes failed, and the consequence of not doing the task is added so, to the scene flag. So I still can't go in there, and I don't know why. I keep finding people who are telling me that they've seen the man who stole the food, but they're not actually telling me anything useful. So they have provided a narrative structure as well, which kind of shows what the events and what what branches yeah. there are, and it's, it's quite complex. Um, so what have we got? Because I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. So we've done day one. We've found some oh, food. I think we've got um, a bug. I crashed. I think. I know. Mm. So I think I so think it's, it's, I, I think our excellent for sorry I think our, our I think we maybe opt to knock it down to good for bugs because so we've discovered a yeah few. I'll do that. So it looks like we are probably. Um, seeing only 20% of the story so far. Oh my life. I mean, we're simply, we're just not going to get to the end of it then, I think. Cause... So we haven't reached any branching points. Um, really? So after after we find the perpetrators, we would return with, to the grandpa, and then we can fight the perpetrator, and then we could s choose to split with the thief. Right. Um, oh no, no, sorry, I'm misreading this. So that's the whole story and then the, the perpetrator is the end boss fight but then the forest wife quest the forest cave old man quest and yeah. the forest warrior quest have different branches in them so which really only sort of so we have they don't really those. seem to change so what yeah we've seen them but yeah. it's only really if you find the husband he unlocks a secret passage or if you don't the wife gives you a potion not to end up like the husband so it seems minor impact doesn't really change the overarching story 
Okay, so so as far as the story engine bit is concerned, what we care about is do choices made in the story affect the game world? Yes. So um, it says we have like uh, the husband unlocks the next area if we find him. Yeah. Um. So that's that's an some of them so. don't. Um. Oh. And you you get potions for completing some quests. Yeah. Okay. So there's some there's some minor interaction. What about? And there's another one which opens another area. So I suppose so. that the, the, you know if I kill all the goblins, for example, it will open. Them. So I think that it is doing things both ways, but they're very very minor things. It's basically mm. it's basically you get a quest, you complete the quest, and get a reward, right? Which which does demonstrate yeah. a story engine going in both directions, but not any level of complexity really. Um, no. Okay. Um, so what would be satisfactory for Story Engine? So satisfactory would be a simple Story Engine that has limited integration with the game world. Um, there are some examples where the story impacts the game world or is impacted by events from the game world. Yeah, so I think we're kind of there, aren't we? I mean, you, you yeah. said you could argue that you could argue that these quests um do form a way of kind of interacting in both directions but it's very very yeah but i wouldn't necessarily loose. say it's so for a pass it's poor integration which i'd say the quests are pretty integrated into this quite well yes yeah um oh, and for the good level it's an effective story engine oh. but we're saying it's not as effective so i think it fits yeah. in the satisfactory column I've quite got no, i've got another major bug oh, stuck in a wall bug, stuck in a wall yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a shame. All right. I think that still fits under our bug, bug, good for bugs, but it does mean we're going to be quite unlikely to finish this. I think. Um. Oh, quits. So. Oh, it just quits. Okay. Yeah. So. Um. We're still looking at the story engine, aren't we? So for the mm -hmm. story engine, then. Um. What we were saying, sort of, we said satisfactory, right? Kind of seems yeah, to really where we are. Um, yeah, uh, move a. Yeah. Marvelous. At least. That's some precious feeling of just jump over it. Okay, that's the jump. Uh, Alright, be careful out there. Let me go. Crazy old man. Okay, so this kind of this kind of fits into the next uh, other techniques bit. So there's a there's a kind of like a it's almost like scripted elements to this where the man comes over and talks to you and I guess it's your grandpa. So that's kind of nice. Okay, agency then. So agency is all about um, uh, yeah the number of choices, whether those choices are meaningful, and whether your agency is is managed at all. So what are the choices we've got here? So the choices are, um, so at the end of the main quest line, we can either split the food with the thief, um, and the result is the grandpa is happy you found the food, or the grandpa is proud of you for splitting the food, and that's end. Um, when we, the forest wife husband quest, we can either find him, which unlocks a secret passage for you to go through, or the wife gives you a potions and warns you not to end up like the husband. Yeah, okay. In the forest cave old man quest, we can either kill the goblins, um, and if you don't, the old man is missing and he's presumed dead. So he was missing in that the second time, the second day. Um, and the old man that thanks you, if you do it, the old man thanks you and gives you a, um, an upgrade for your potions. And the forest warrior quest, um, if you kill so, the goblins, he thanks you and opens a passage. And if you don't, he goes missing. So I was going to say they're not narrative choices, but I suppose they sort of are. They're just, um, oh, return to the woman near the house. Okay. So, so it's just that you're you're not making them in the in the dialogue. You're making them in the game, which is kind of nice, you know. Sort of diegetic choices. Do you help the woman? Um. So, does that affect the story? Thank you so much. Thank you. You found him, but she doesn't. Is she supposed to do something for me? So this is the she gives you she gave you something, didn't she? Uh, I don't know. 
Um, yeah. So, so you, you found her husband. She gave you a potion. Oh no, she she didn't. Uh, the husband will do something the next day and unlock um, so the secret that's passage. So that's the one where they open the passage. So that did actually happen. Uh, go to the forest and collect some food. Oh, we found it up here, didn't we? Um, I don't think I should enter this tunnel. Oh, little bit of controlling my agency there. Um, okay, so what would a, a satisfactory be for this? So for satisfactory, we have to grandpa. He's um, an interactive story with several branching points and some interesting choices. So, I mean, I think we do have several branching points, but do we really have interesting choices? They do this quest or not? I, I don't think they are. No. And the, the branches aren't big branches, it seems. You know, it just no. seems like there's a shortcut that opens or you get an extra potion. You know, it's the story doesn't branch. No. It's still so, a linear story. So what would satisfactory be? So satisfactory is an interactive story with several branching points and some interesting choices. So, as I said, there are there are sort of these very minor branching points, but they're not really in. I just don't think they're interesting choices if it's just do a quest for a thing or not. Um, all right, what would what would be sort of below that? Um, an interesting uh, interactive story with some branching points, but few interesting choices. Yeah, I I kind of think that's where we are. And, and and we're being, you know, we're, we're we're basically saying the 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 branching points are effectively the quests. Mm. Um, so if I jump up here, do you think they're open? Do you think he's going to open up the passageway, right? Yeah. Oh. oh dear, I don't think I was supposed to do that. That's an <laughs> oh, another game breaker. I think that's a shame. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, I think we're we're kind of we've kind of feels like we're down at the sort of past level for agency then. Um, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to quit out again. Um, what's the next? Um, uh, yeah, what's the what's the next one? The next one must be poetics, right? Poetics. So, so this is essentially how well the gameplay matches or tells the story. Um, uh, so, what what is the story that's being told here? Do you reckon? What's the what's the fable? Let me see if they've mentioned it. So they say the lion and the mouse. Is that because we keep getting these little minor quests and these people come back and help us? Yeah. Yeah. It's not really posed in that way, though, is it? It's kind of yeah. The whole idea is that the lion and the mouse is that you you know the lion's big and powerful and doesn't believe the mouse can help them and yet and yet the, the mouse can so it's like a kindness is never wasted so yes that does fit the idea of do a quest and get a potion but it's not it's not really it's not really in the spirit of it right it's kind of you know you you do something yeah. with what to what appears to be for no reason and then later on you get a consequence um so I, yeah, I'm not sure if they've quite done that. So so satisfactory would be something like they they don't interfere with one another, right? That the is that right? That the um, the mechanics kind of don't get in the way of the story, but they don't really help tell the story or contribute particularly. Mm, mm. So I, I think that's kind of where we are, right? Uh, I mean, the mechanics are fine. They they're not. You know, we're we're heroic person running around and doing quests for people. Yep, fine, but it doesn't actually help tell tell the story. I don't think. So where are we going to place this? Is this more of the they do not interfere with one another, but the key inf the key mechanics have little to do with the themes of the story? Yeah, is that the satisfactory level? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's where it is. Okay. Have I not got any food? Have I forgotten to go somewhere? So Ugh. Yeah. Okay. So for so, techniques, um, pacing. So there is meant to be a boss fight at the end, I think. Yeah, but we're Probably. we're going to be lucky to get there, I think, in the time we have. So, 
yeah. Okay, so I mean, I, I kind of feel like it. You know, it starts with the with the little scene with your grandfather and the dummy, and then you kind of it, it does kind of ramp up a bit. Um, and if there's a if there's yeah. a boss fight at the end, that's not too bad. So we, we get we do sort of get some rising pacing, and then in terms of techniques, um, so we've got we've got a sort of cutscene of the guy running up next to you. Yeah, so you've got a kind of little scripted event, really, isn't it? Um, I still can't find the goblin. If I killed all the goblins again, so that I think might be the tunnel that's blocked. Uh. Uh. So how many other we got? We've got the scripted events, then the dialogues. Um... I think that's about it. There's not really any environmental stuff going on, but that's okay. There's a couple of different um, options happening. So that's that's kind of fine. Um, so what about um, yeah? So we said the pace. So okay. So what would what would satisfactory be? So satisfactory is some ascending pacing and use of at least one game writing technique. So it definitely has that. I think. So what would good be? So good would be ascending pacing with a clear final peak and the use of more than one game writing technique. So, I, it's hard to tell because we've not seen it yet, but I mean, it, it's getting on for that, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. It depends on what that final fight is like. Um, oh, it does say return to grandpa, so... Oh no, that's the, still the same bit, isn't it? It's a good job I can run so fast. Yeah, you just need to not die. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay. So for techniques, um, let's let's give them benefit of the doubt and go for good. All right. Um, so lastly, we're on to feedback. So what do they say? So they've said one piece of feedback we received was to ensure the fable was correctly was used correctly within the game to be made obvious that it was inspired by that. Two sides of the quest, the forest warrior and the forest old man, both follow the fable of the old lion and the mouse, uh, the lion and the mouse, where the player helping the two NPCs are rewarded for their actions on the following days for completing the quests. Further in the main quest, the player is rewarded for splitting food with the thief by the grandpa being happy with the decision. Um, another piece of feedback was ensure that choices had meaningful impact on the story. Um, we did this by having side quests have two outcomes that are made obvious in the game world, that changes have occurred. Okay. So, so what do you it think? wasn't clear that it was the lion and the mouse. I don't think. Um, I, 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 yeah, it, it is. I mean, I think, it's kind of here, but it's just, yeah. So, so I think if we didn't read that, if you saved uh, um, the man, time. the the passage opened. You know, um, we, we don't know some of the consequences because if we're playing it for the. No. You know. I mean, part of the problem is really that, 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 that the, the bugs have stopped us, right? We just can't. We can't, mm. you know. We, we, we've been killed at least three times by a major bug, which has meant we've had to restart, and it takes a while to get through the story. Um, yeah. I mean, I. So, so I think. I think they've. they've They've obviously tried to do the lion and the mouse. They've put the quests in, in an effort mm -hmm. to make that happen. Um, but it just doesn't quite work, right? So, what was satisfactory be for feedback? So that's um, feedback has been articulated, and some changes have been made with partial success. And what would pass be? So that would be feedback was not well articulated, but some changes have been made with limited success. So I, I, I think it's kind of probably a bit better than a pass. So, so maybe, between them? Yeah, between them, I think. It's kind of, you know, they, they, the changes they've made, they, 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 they know what the problem was, but they haven't done enough, I think, to kind of bring it towards the fable. But I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a nice playable game. I, I think they kind of, they just needed to do a bit more with the, the kind of the, the results of your actions being a bit more obvious. And then it would have felt like your decisions were having some consequences, and then obviously trying to iron out some of these bugs, because um, it's a shame we haven't been able to get to the end. But I mean, I, I at the moment I, I I've helped the woman, but her, her husband hasn't opened the the cave up, 
So the, that's not open, despite the fact I've helped her. It says kill three goblins in the caves, mm -hmm. but I killed all the goblins. Um, and, you know, there's no... Yeah, so I can't, I just can't progress. So I think, I think at this point we, we probably just have to say we, we've given it a fair, fair crack, and we haven't quite seen all the game, but you know it had, uh, it, it had quite a lot of potential, and I, I'm very, very playable. I've quite enjoyed scooting around like a mad thing, slicing things with this enormous sword. So, okay, um, I think that was our last game. Oh, hang on, there's a goblin. Does that count as one? Of, does that count as one? Of, oh, it killed me. I got all excited then. All right, I've had enough of being killed by goblins. Um, yeah, I think that was our last game. So uh, thanks very much for watching, and we will see you again in the next video. Thank you.